Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok hallo gubar, Maxime here. If you've played CSGO for a long time, you might know about the three-man tower, the one you saw Astralis do in the major finals. Two-man towers can be done easily, but not with three. If you have more than two, the guy on top will automatically run forward without stopping, almost as if you're tripping off a banana. The reason why this three-man tower worked for Astralis is because of the wall blocking Mogisk from moving forward and falling down. Also, notice how the accuracy is perfect because he's standing still. Now I'm going to show you a three-man tower trick that you probably haven't seen before. I looked into how player models react to each other and came up with this idea which will literally take the game to a higher level. You will understand soon what I mean. Example 1. You want to hold a balcony from long. Well, with a regular three-man tower, the first player lets two others on jump, thank you, and now one of the players on top is able to boost the last player to be able to see over. The final results look like this, but wait, is the player on top actually able to see well? Hmm, not that well, could be better. Now what if the second player is allowed to stand up? And this is where I came up with a new strategy to make the three-man tower even better. Remember when I said that you automatically run forward if you're more than two? Well, what happens if you put a standing player next to a crouching player under the same conditions? Well, I found out that you will automatically glide over to the standing player because the height difference is still small enough for the player's step size. So how do we use this to our advantage? Well, back to example 1. If one player decides to boost 2, and then they create this neat little staircase, now all 3 are able to stand up. And look at the difference it makes. Mm -mm. Another example. Here you can also create a staircase for the last player to see over the B site. Takes just a few seconds and then the other two players can leave. Here's another example of a human staircase tower which only takes a couple seconds and is pretty powerful as well. As usual you only need three people in the end. You can also do some pretty advanced stuff with this, for example this one on long. And here's another one I came up with for Teesside Inferno. Takes some practice to do, but it works with this trick. The biggest downside to it really is the fact that you will need more than 3 players to help out in the beginning, so if you're one of those that only play matchmaking, or if you don't have any friends then rip. But in the end, I could definitely see teams use this, and I know I will. I thought this was a pretty cool idea for a video and I had really fun making it. Let me know what you thought down below and make sure you like and subscribe if you want to support my channel. Anyway, I'll see you guys in another video and go bananas.